Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to use Scoro for project management. So as you can see here, I am going to create a new account. So let's go ahead and click continue on this. And this will be our site's address. So it's usually based on the name of the company. So I'll go ahead and select all of that. Choose, you know, the industry that you have right here. Say, for example, creative or design, choose the company size as well. And let's go ahead and click continue. You would then ask in terms of who you are, your position. So, you know, whichever one fits for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And what is going to be your primary goal with Scoro? Uh, this could be anything really. So I'll say, for example, um, this one right here. And then let's go ahead and create my site. So now Scoro will go ahead and create your site based on all of the answers that you have given. And let's give it a moment to fully create the site. And here you are. So this is our main dashboard here. And as you can see here, Scoro has given us a sample project that we can take a look at. So let's go ahead and explore through this before creating our very own. So within our dashboard, we can take a look at how, you know, the utilization uh, of the entire project itself. So it's, it says here, comparing duration of activities to the total availability. What is the revenue from last month? Uh, what were the invoices that we have? And then what were the deals that we have? And as you can see here on, on the left hand side, this shows us all of the tasks that are connected towards myself. So the person itself and just you know quickly going through each one so as you can see here we have these different colors right here so this takes a look at the different priorities so we have yellow as medium priority we have red as high priority and we also have blue which is low in priority so we usually have our title right here in terms of the due date as well and say that you know you're, you're completed with something you can easily mark them as done right here so let's say you know let's complete this one and then for time logging this allows you to basically state as to how long this has taken you so let's say it took me an hour yeah sure go ahead and then click done and as you can see that would have you know made changes to your uh, all of your stats in here so let's take a look at a simple test that we have so if we click on this right here uh, uh, this is what our particular task is structured as so as you can see here you know we have our progress you know is it planned is it needs attention in progress is it completed so at the moment it is in progress and as you can see it is a non-billable work meaning that you know we don't need to do any time tracking and stuff right here uh, we can take a look at the start date and then we can take a look at the due date as well and of course it says 14 days so this is 14 days delayed already so this was set for the 7th of july and we also have some connectors right here so are there any dependent tasks do we have some you know subtasks needed for all of this and all of these are all of the connected details relating to this particular task itself and again all of this are just metadata which we can take a look at later on. So this is what a sample task would look like. Now let's go ahead and take a look on this side. So these are all of the different projects that we have. So say for example, that we have two clients with us, we have client A and client B. So client A has a particular project that you know we're, we're taking a look at. And then there is another project that we have within that client. And then this one is another project that we have. So as you can see here, you were able to take a look at the overview of the status of our entire system of projects, you know, uh, the estimated duration, when are the due dates, how much has been completed, what is the current progress, project profits, and then status right here. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So if we go ahead and click on this, and this is what it looks like. So we can go ahead and see an overview of everything so say for example you know we can see that the team lead is this one right here and then we have two people who are working on this at the moment 
and then you know if everything is all set up correctly you can really see all of the different gantt charts between them and who it is assigned to and then all of these budgeting are calculated based on the individual tasks that has been done so say for example if we have a particular task that requires uh, spending on items then yeah we can go ahead and take a look at that if we have ones that has time logging we can take a look at those as well so if we go down so we have the past activities right here as you can see these are the durations that we have and you can go ahead and take a look at all of the labor costs in here as well and then the different quotes and invoices as well which is really nice so this is what a particular uh, project would look like and then if all of these are too much overview you can go ahead and take a look at all of the individual ones right here so say for example you know we were taking a look at all the different projects that is you know that we're managing it's all right here uh, if we take a look at the pipelines themselves so as you can see here you know uh this is the opportunity section scoping proposal or the projects has been confirmed uh, and as you can see this client b a and a these are the three projects that this is currently working on and this allows us to take a look at the other potential clients um that gives us an overview of everything again taking a look at the tasks which is assigned to yourself and in the planner section in here allows us to take a look at you know what everyone is working on since you are the owner or the team manager itself the calendar is for you specifically on the things that you are working on and um, the reports themselves on this section allows us to take a look at so many different things this is all really amazing stuff go ahead and explore through each one and again we have our contacts we have our quotes in here and we have our invoices in here as well and then of course you know this is what a structured project would look like but say that we want to add something new so we can go ahead and click on the plus icon right here and we could add all of these new things right here so say for example if we have a new project we can go ahead and click on this if you have a new company as well we can go ahead and take a look at this so let's say for example we have a new company that we are managing so let's go ahead and click on this and then we you know we just need to supply something new so say for example this one that we have we need to fill in all of the different items in here as well but let's just go ahead and click save so now we have this as a new contact itself now say for example if we want to add a new project as well we can go ahead and do that so let's say um this is the project that we have so we have one for um project name let's call this uh video production again you can categorize this as work or personal which is a nice touch but let's say this work we can go ahead and choose who the clients are that we have so let's go ahead and choose the one that we have generated earlier on and then when is the start date say for example it's now and then when is the due date say we have um in uh four months time um let's say the 24th right here go ahead and assign a color that's this is yellow and then added a description as well you can go ahead and choose who you know the project manager is so let's just add it to ourselves and then who are the members so say for example we have um these two and now we can go ahead and add in you know uh, information on the budget and pricing itself so is it a retainer is it a one-off project let's say it is a one-off project and then we have a budget here so let's you know we can either go ahead and set it manually or a quoted one so let's say a quoted of let's say a quoted of around you know 600 hours worth of work in here uh, we could then choose to include bills and expenses if you wanted to let's just go ahead and say yes um choose the different you know standard pricing that we have so let's just keep it uh to gbp and then how would we calculate 
how, how do we calculate the, the revenue itself so is it a services prices so it's literally for the entire thing or is it a role prices where we could you know take a look at the roles themselves so say for example you know we have all of this um different roles and then this is how much each one would cost so let's go ahead and save this and then we can go ahead and add in milestones as well so say for example for you know for a video production we have the ideas and planning um the start date is now uh let's add in another milestone of when our pre-production is so say for example let's give it a month's time and uh, no, let's give it two weeks two weeks worth of planning here we are and then let's add another milestone of the actual filming itself which we want to try and you know uh get it started by say for example the last week of august and there you are and again just go ahead and explore through each one of these so you know different phases that we have uh and add in you know different bundles that we have as well so we have the delivery phase we have the preparation phase so yeah just go ahead and explore through each one of this so this is what it would look like if we were to if we were to create our own projects uh, but if all of this you know if, if you want to go ahead and use a template you can actually go ahead and use a template right here uh, by selecting this and then taking a look at an example but say for example that you know we are using this as our usual kind of project so if we're going to be you know using this project template uh, multiple times then let's go ahead and save it and then let's give it a name say for example um it's for video production so let's go ahead and save this and now let's go ahead and add that project into the project list so as you can see it is a template at the moment and it is not seen here so let's go ahead and click on new uh, let's choose that template and then let's go ahead and save this and here is the project itself so as you can see here it is very bare there's nothing that we have in here let's say for example that we want to you know start creating tasks how would we do that well we could either go ahead and do them here into the plan activity section by clicking on add and then clicking new event or new task or we can go ahead and go into our tasks section right here at the top and then we have our task list view we have our task board view our timesheet recurring tasks task bundles as well what we can do is you know let's just go into task list itself now what we would need to do is we just need to adjust our task list filter right here so we can see everyone so let's go ahead and click on filter right here and then the project let's select video production right here and then click filter and then let's change this into all so let's select everyone into here right here and then now we're gonna go ahead and add a new task so let's click new and then how long would it be say for example we need a task for um, brainstorm video concepts and themes right here what kind of activity would it be you know it can be any of these so let's say it's on research itself you can see all of the different assignments right here you know in terms of how long everyone is going to be working on if you want to remove other members you can go ahead and do that if you want and then you know if we have a phase you can go ahead and do that but say for example we have this and then the start date is today when is the due date is on monday we can go ahead and save and open or save or save and add another so let's go ahead and save and open so this is the task itself that we have and then if we go back to our tasks you can see that we have added our task right here now if we go back to the project itself and then click on this we can see that you know we have this section right here and then this would update it right here and you know you can go ahead and mark everything up 
say it's like this and we have completed it as you can see you know we have done one hour worth of work and this will then update through everything so you've managed to generate a task you've managed to complete them assign them to other people and all of that so just go ahead and explore through all of this and uh, this is what you can do with Scoro for project management well i hope that you have found this tutorial useful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time